Hi everyone, my name is Anaga and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we are going to be learning about filtering data frames in pandas. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we want to write the Python code to store all these students in data science discovery who are currently in their senior year in the data frame DF answer. Uh, the column that tells you what year students are in is called school year. So this is nice, they already gave us the column to use, but for good practice, let's just go ahead and output our data frame and see what type of data that we're dealing with. So it shows here that it's basically just a data frame <coughs> of these uh, students in discovery, right, as, as well as their major, um, their, their school year, I guess the type of, you know, device they use, um, they're like, and, and some other miscellaneous information about uh, all these, you know, different questions and, and their you know, different, um, I guess, questions about their courses, their siblings, their, their shoes owned, and, and uh, things like that about each student, right? So here, we basically want to compile all of the students who are in their senior year into DF Answer. So, so this data frame contains students who are in all the years, right? There's like, there's sophomores here. I guess the professors aren't really categorized into a year. There's like other, there's juniors, there's freshmen, there's all types of years. But we only want students who are in their senior year. So this means we need to filter the data frame, right? So here, really our step one is to filter the data frame to only include um, senior students, right? And this is where we can use um, kind of the column school year to really narrow that down. And this is the column school year. So to filter this, you know, we have the data frame in brackets and then we refer to the column, which is school year. And because the school year, because our column is two words, right? The fact that it contains a space, we really wanna make sure we're using this bracket notation um, because this column contains a space, right? If it was school underscore year, then, then maybe we could use dot notation, <clears throat> but you really wanna make sure that for any columns that are more than one word, or for any columns that contain a space, you're using this sort of bracket notation. So DF school year is then, I wanna include my you know, Boolean operator, and I wanna make sure that I wanna only include rows where the school year is, um, where the school year is a senior. So you're only including students who are seniors. And then when I go ahead and run my code and output it, well, our DF answer, as we can see, only contains the students who are, you know, all seniors. And kind of making sure and checking that your output matches what the question is asking is a really good idea and, and is, you know, is, I highly recommend you to do that. So I think this is all the, the question wants us to do. We want to store it in DF answer, so make sure the data frame is a correct name. And then when we submit our code, well, we get it correct. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.